Good afternoon, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. <clears throat> so you guys know that uh, we put cover crop in around our tomatoes in the big high tunnel, and we're letting it grow with the tomatoes. We are uh, squishing it down as it gets a little high just to keep it from uh, choking out any sunlight or anything. So I wanted to do a comparison and show you guys if you think it's working. So to give you a good scale and a good reference point, this is one of my tomatoes in the small high tunnel that we are growing uh, conventionally in the ground. And I'll show you here in a minute how we have them planted, but you can see the scale of it, it may be about up to my neck, a little lower. Now, these tomato plants, these and those in the bigger high tunnel were all started by seed at the same time and they were all planted at the same time. Let's go check those out. First, let me show you how these are all planted. We planted them the very same way. Look at this, beautiful. We planted them the very same way that we did last year. And guys, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen our tomato plants as healthy as they are this year. And this again is in the small high tunnel, but Greg has changed up his feeding. We are no longer using synthetic fertilizer. We are using uh, biological fertilizer and he has just done a terrific job so we've been busy all morning getting things settled for pop we're moving him tomorrow um, he is going to be moving next door to us in my sister's house that is vacant at this time um, until we can get the tiny house out here and set up so that'll be happening in the next two or three weeks so before i show you these and show you the difference I wanna talk a little bit about what he did. He used a cover crop mixture that has some uh, daikon radishes, some oats, some uh, buckwheat. Um, he did really well, he overseeded, um, I think before he planted the tomatoes, but he was putting the tomatoes in around the same time. So they've kind of grown together. And um, you really don't wanna pull it up because you disturb what it's doing in the soil, the biological effect. It's kind of like a green manure. Um, we just step on it and push it down or we use that little black and decker weed eater thing just to top, chop the tops off, but we don't wanna pull them up out of the ground and disturb the soil because we want it uh, to break down around these plants and we want it uh, to be a green manure, a green fertilizer. So here's the difference. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to give uh, credit where credit is due and say that uh, the green fertilizer and the cover crop is really helping. You can see how much bigger this plant is next to me. Again, we planted these at the same time. Uh, we started the seeds at the same time and many of these are the same variety. Here's one of the things growing next to the tomato plant and I believe this is a daikon radish, but you can see how we're just breaking it down and pushing it in. And when this season is over, we can till this in and redo this to keep our soil fertilized and healthy. So here's another one, you can see. Much bigger guys, much bigger. And almost all of these plants have fruit set on them already. Let's come on down here. Beautiful. So you can see them all down the row here. What we're seeing is that the heirloom varieties seem to be coming up much thicker and better and quicker um, than the, um, oh, what is it I'm trying to think of? Hybrid, different than, than the hybrid. So we have heirlooms and we have hybrids in here. I think that we're probably gonna go back uh, to heirlooms next year. But let me show you something you can do with some of the suckers on your plants. So this is a sucker and it comes up in between two of your branches, this one right here. And what we can do is we can pinch this off guys and we can pop this in some soil <clears throat> and we can foster it and turn around and replant it for our fall uh, tomato crop, which we have been pretty successful with. So we are growing the Cherokee variety. 
the Geronimo, the Black Crim, the Black Cherry. We have some Big Dinas in here. Big Dinas are a hybrid <clears throat> and uh, very expensive, but we wanted to see how we did with them. Uh, they're supposed to be very prolific, and so uh, we wanted to give them a shot. So this is one of the Big Dinas, and you can see it's probably even smaller than my uh, heirloom varieties up there in the smaller high tunnel. So I think the verdict is in. I think that his uh, his green manure and his uh, cover crop with the tomatoes seem to be very successful. Um, we're very pleased with them. We're not seeing ooh, ants. Dang do ants. They got me pretty good. So we're not seeing any insect damage and I'm praying that that uh, stays at bay. But uh, I think what Greg is doing is working. So let me know your thoughts on what we're doing. Um, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. So leave a comment below. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and welcome. If you're a new viewer, we appreciate each and every one of you and we love you all. And um, lots of busy things going on. But so far, praise the Lord, everything is looking really good and we should have a good tomato harvest this year. But uh, the Lord willing. Anyway, take care. God bless. I'll update you on Pop's move. Uh, Got to go back in there and get some more things done for him. And uh, we will see you some this weekend. Take care. God bless. See you all.